Hi, I'm Steve Woodbury, and this is my co-host, Chris. How's it going, eh? <laughs> That's the extent of our prepared skit at the beginning of the show. Well, to I don't know what you're talking about. A boot? No, oh, come a boot. on. <laughs> Do they that, really say a boot? I, oh, they kind of do a little bit, but you yeah. know they don't like you to point it out because they, it's, it's, well, kinda, it's kind of rude. Yeah, but yeah. So I to commemorate my trip to Canada. But see, I don't, I don't see why it's rude. Like I say, wicked. Nobody, nobody points out that wicked is is bad. Yeah, you know. But like when someone goes, "Hey, can you say pack the cat and have a yad?" You don't mm. feel a little bit of resentment. No, no, because because you can't park a car in Harvard Yard. So it's, it obviously, starts, <laughs> you start. But up, they want you to say those words. But it starts a conversation, is what I'm saying. Like I, I well, so I guess you know, is, could you say a boot? Yeah, d- that's just uh, it's just rude. It's rude. Uh-huh. I think it's rude. All right, sure. Like if you go up to um, a I Somali guy, about, but if you go up to like a Somali guy and be like, ah, oh, why don't you say something like. Like a pirate would that is murdering, kill, <laughs> killing people. A vast? No, no, not those kind of pirates. Like the real ones. That... Oh, they don't say a vast. I don't know. They, don't they say might. The, the, the um, <clears throat> yo ho. Yo ho 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 yo ho ho ho. I, 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 this is ruining the world for. I, I mean, if I, if I was on a ship, and we were hijacked by pirates, and they didn't say a vast, I just, I don't know if I could take them seriously. What? You're telling me that pirates don't say a vast, and I'm just saying that if a pirate tried to board my they ship, might they might have in the past in 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 days of yore in days of yore not nowadays. Why would they say a vast? I mean, well, what the Those hell are, is the point of talk like a pirate day? You know, like I thought talk like a pirate day was about talking like pirates. And talk like a pirate day was was a, basically a way of people being able to celebrate. Murderous thieves. Murderous thieves. Murderous thieves. Like those movies, the pirates of the the Caribbean or the Caribbean. You say Caribbean or Caribbean? Like, um, I well, you say Caribbean in the movies, but I've like when I'm not saying pirates of the Carib- or Caribbean. Yeah, I'm saying Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. I always because you if say was... the Royal Caribbean cruise. That's true. I always wondered if I was getting it wrong. I guess that's why I'm asking. I don't know. Just like a vast. I mean, I I I, I don't I even know what a vast part. means. I'm looking it up. Um, no, that's a vast. A, a vast. vast. B and the V are right next to each other on the. Did keyboard. they say bilge? Do they say, still say bilge. I don't know. Um, a vast Wikipedia. Yeah. Bilge. Oh, it's an antivirus software. God damn it. <laughs> that's that's what you. I. It's an anti. An antivirus software that is named after a word that pirates use. Mm-hmm. Historically oh, here we go. not maybe a, an antivirus software I want to use, except now that it's you It's a nautical it. command. A vast. A vast, um, perhaps from Dutch uh, ancestry, well, not ancestry, but like, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, the the etymology, etymology is, okay, yeah. is, is from the Dutch. And uh, it's a nautical command to stop or cease. A vast G landlubbers. Okay, stop, you landlubbers. Okay, I got you. Gotcha. And it was said. I don't know in, why that's in, the only pirate word I can think of right now. It was said during like the six, the seventeenth century. Okay. So, yeah. but I mean, I mean, you're saying a Somali pirate wouldn't say a vast Tom Hanks. I'm stealing your your ship. Have you seen that movie, Captain Phillips? Yeah, the I've, boat movie. I haven't seen that movie. Yeah, no, uh, I have not. So yeah, Tom I Tom Hanks makes a lot of movies. I don't I don't get do, to see Do you want to them. talk about Tom Hanks movies? No, I'm just saying he makes a lot of movies and like you know, I would figure, you know, given look at if you look at like a Venn diagram of my interest, like Tom Cruise, I mean Tom Hanks is not that Tom, much, right? Well, Tom Cruise is though. Tom Cruise for sure. I got to see everything he's in. But the, but Tom Hanks uh, the, the his circle kind of like hey, Forrest Gump you know, um, uh, Apollo 13, stuff like that. He had a, he had a golden age, but now if like you have Tom Hanks and it crosses over with pirates, I mean, your finger. Oh, what happened? I'll, uh, this, uh, this is rabies. Um, Your rabies? No. (laughs) Let me, I'm just saying Tom Hanks and, 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 and pirates, I should be into it. As for what happened to my finger, um, our chairs in our dining room are slowly falling apart and I went to go, um, grab the leg of one of the chairs to stop it from tipping over the other day, and I got pinched. Okay, and that's so a nasty a, pinch there. With a really bad, like, blood blister. It looks worse than it feels. It felt really bad the first day, and now it just looks gross. Yeah. Now, I thought, I thought like, you were, like, you had some sort of 
your skin cancer on your finger. Ebola. It's, it's, Ebola? That's not what Ebola looks like. <laughs> I don't know what Ebola looks like. I just know people are getting it now. And All I, right. can, I can say, are people getting it in Canada? That's the important thing. No, they, they, there's, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I, I mean, that was my ham, ham-handed way of transitioning back into, boom, into Canada. So, yeah, I went on a trip to Canada last week. A? Uh, yes, A. Uh, the, we, we talked about I, the, the, day, the last time we recorded was, was, the, the, day was the day before I left. Yeah. But it's weird because, like, we broadcast that show, like, and I was already back. You were already back, yes. Because, <laughs> <clears throat> actually, I was going to come back on Monday. Mm-hmm. Ended up coming back on Sunday. Okay, because I was just so tired, and I'm I just wanted to so sleep. So tired of Canada? No, or no, no. So I was just tired, okay. and I was like, if if I could have flown, I would have, but it was so damn expensive. Yeah, like and uh, the amount of time and sanity I lost driving, mm. but like I I, I chose. And I, I think I'm not going to blame your wife <laughs> because I'm not a, a person that that blames people for my own decisions. OK, um, but <laughs> I, I'm going to like there's a little bit of like because like we we had spoken a couple of yeah. times of like the stuff you guys were reading. And oh, whatnot. right. Right. And yeah. you you had mentioned that she was reading The Wheel of Time. And so. Yes. I'm not saying that this it's is not, her fault. It's not her fault. This is not okay. her fault, but it, it's it put it in the back of my mind. Okay. And then when I was when I was like, okay, I'm going on a very long car trip. I'm gonna get. A I'm book. gonna get a book on tape. Yep. Because Audible, they, we 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 talked about it. Sponsor uh, us. Yeah, sponsor us, Audible. So we're, we're giving you free. Free advertising. Yeah, why would they sponsor us? We're giving it away for free. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, I mean, I didn't have, like, a website that is undetermined. That, that sells audiobooks. That sells audiobooks. there are books. tons of them. Yes. <laughs> that gave me a free one with a trial. And I got this Eye of the World, which is the first book of the Wheel of Time series. By Robert Jordan. By Robert Jordan. Yeah. I'm also promoting this guy's books. Sponsor us. The uh, estate of Robert Jordan. <laughs> I was going to say he's dead. I know. He can't, he can't sponsor us. Yeah. Um, so, so you got this book. You decided to get this book partially, if not entirely, based on my wife's uh, suggestion. No, no, no. It, was, it wasn't even a suggestion because, like, we, I just, we, we talked. We and talked it was, about it was it. in the back of my mind right, because right. you mentioned that she had, okay. was reading. So it's it. my fault. Is what you're saying? No, it's not your fault either. It's my <laughs> fault. Right. I chose this. Okay. I'm not going to blame you. All right. But yeah, I was just, uh, I was just bringing it up because this is basically. I'll try to read a little bit in the voice of the guy that was doing it. Oh, okay. I'm ready. All right. So (laughs) you're getting a little fancy pants here. (laughs) Chapter 20, Dust on the Wind. As they left the white stone buildings on their nervously shifting horses, the icy wind came in gusts, moaning across the rooftops, whipping cloaks like banners, uh, driving thin clouds across the thin silver of the moon with a a uh, quiet command to stay close, Lan led off down the street. The horses danced and tugged at their reins, eager to be away. I just figure the first paragraph will be good enough. So yeah, this that was my that was <laughs> to and from from Canada. I'm still I've still got four hours left <laughs> of the audio book, and I'm like, well, I ended up buying like a three pack, like this one, and it yeah. came with like the second book and, okay. and the third one. And so that's why I have the book. Because you're like, it's very brand it's, new. It is very brand new. And I can take that out of that page it there. I'll, I'll, I'll use it. Yeah, there you go. Um, I, I, <laughs> how many hours of that? Um, well, I, I, it took me about 10 each way. All right. But I, I stopped. And you still got four hours. I still, it was 30 hours. Oh, my God. 30 hours. And I've been listening to and from work every day. Oh, yeah, every day. So, yeah. And sometimes, like, when I go for my my walk at lunch. Right. And sometimes when, like, the things that I'm doing at work don't require, don't require yeah, a lot yeah. of thought. Right. Because I can't concentrate on, like, you know, something that I'm supposed to concentrate on. Yeah, if I'm no, doing I'm something the same that's way. too in-depth. Yeah, yeah. But, like, so, like, but I can listen to a podcast, no problem. Right. Because if it's just some dudes, you know, like us, making you laugh. <laughs> yeah, haha. A. Uh, yeah, A. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a very, very long drive. Very long drive. And I got there. Uh-huh. And uh, and so I uh, met up with, with uh, my pal. I don't know if I want to say his name. Yeah. No, I don't. Just you're your pal. My pal. We, we met up. And uh, we 
I, I, I didn't want to drive anywhere mm-hmm. when I first got there. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, even as a passenger, yeah, <laughs> did uh, not want to. I'm kind of done with the car. Yeah, I'm done After with the car. After ten right hours, now. that makes sense. He, he was he was staying near the, the near the airport, so there was mm-hmm. a lot of stuff nearby. Gotcha. So we uh, we hoofed it around a bit, mm-hmm. and we went to a place uh, up the street called Jack Astor's. Nice. Jack. Very, and so very like, well named. Yeah. So like they they have like the remember the three D eye eye puzzles. Yes. That you would like stare at and it like in mall it's rats. a sailboat, <laughs> and no, it's a schooner. <laughs> A schooner is a... I got that wrong. Yeah, why don't you just quote it, like, wrong... A schooner to, is a sailboat, dummy. Stupid head. Dumbass. Stupid ass? Stupid head is what stupid the kid head? says. Oh. How did I get that wrong? You got everything in that wrong. I did. Do you want to, like, uh, edit, pause it and edit, edit it out? We'll edit all that out, yeah. And make me sound intelligent. That would require a lot more editing time yeah, than I, know. I have. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, the magic... But, like, if you, you, did, you stared at the thing... For a bit, and it yeah. was it was a donkey because it was Jack Ass, Jack Astors, and there would be a donkey and the magic. All right, all right, I, I can, I can get behind that. Yeah. <laughs> so we 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 went there and uh, yeah. we 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 drank um, alcohol, Mol- Molson Canadian, Molson or Canadian. as they just call it up there, Canadian. Can I get a Canadian? Can you, you get a? That sounds that sounds vaguely like uh, I don't know. That would make me think of uh, indentured servitude or slavery or whatever. You're like, hey, can I get a Canadian? Yes. You sell me. You just like selling me a Canadian. I don't know. You get to pick. No, you get beer. You get beer. You get a beer. You're not getting a slave. See, I would think you know. I th- I could I could envision this scenario, right? I I'm sitting at a table by myself, trying to decide what I want at a restaurant. At, at a, 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 a yeah, yeah. It's a restaurant. This isn't like a slave auction. No, but but it's a restaurant, right? Yes. So I'm sitting at a table at a restaurant. No, and... it's a brothel. <laughs> we went. The first thing we went to was the brothel across the street from Name his Jack hotel. Jack Astor's. Yeah. It's a good name for a brothel, too. Yeah. No, I'm sitting at a restaurant, and there are these two guys next to me, and I haven't decided what I'm going to order yet, and I hear, I hear them um, ask for uh, a pair of Canadians. And the next thing I know, these two... No attra- one orders beers like that, mind you. A, 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 a two, two attractive um, bar uh, bartenders, not bartenders, uh, waitresses. You were going to say bar over. wenches, weren't you? I was not. I yes, was you were. Say, I saw it. There was a I W was not, about was, to... to uh, there was no W about yes, to Yes, there was. There was going to be a... W- and, you're, and I'm like, yep, he's going to say bar wench. No, I But you not. stopped yourself. There, were, there are two attractive um, uh, bar ladies... Um, and they, they come up and I'm like, oh, so that's what happens when you ask for a pair of Canadians. Like that, that's, I would, I would honestly You're get talking confused. about her breasts? Is that what you're getting no, at? No, because there are two of them. Two, I mean, two Canadian, it would be a. There'd be four b- be a quartet. Could I get a quartet of Canadians? That, that, and then I would be like, oh, wow, this is, this is So you're demeaning more. women to, to the fact that they are their breasts. I, you just suggested that. I no, said you, were, you, I you, said there were two <laughs> waitresses. That was the two Canadians. You brought their breasts into it. No, you were the one who was these insinuating be, breasts. These could be breast cancer survivors with no breasts at all. I, I was saying they're two attractive Canadian women. Well, they it is Breast over. Cancer Awareness Month. It so. is. I'm not wearing any pink. I know. I'm, I'm but we're, we're talking about it, so people are going to be are. Wa- be aware that, you know what, ladies? You are more than just your breasts, mm. even though we really like your breasts. Mm. Mm. <laughs> a so no, yeah uh, we're jack astors jack astors and you order a couple staring of at the breasts and whatnot <laughs> no well yeah I don't know. <laughs> god but we, you know we got a little the the, the 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 gals that were the bartend dresses mm-hmm. bartenders, bartenders. Uh, they were they were very uh they were very very cute mm-hmm. cute young women yes and so we uh, we had a we had some food there. We had some beers. Then we walked. Apparently, we didn't have enough uh, breasts, <laughs> so we went to the number one favorite restaurant that are, <laughs> that exists. Ah, I see what you did there. Hooters. Hooters. Well, the original. Now there's like more. Hmm. There's there's one in, uh, in Nashua now. Yeah. It's called uh, the Tilted Kilt. Tilted kilt. Yes, I've not been there. Well, you know, I've never the, been to a Hooters take, either. Take, so. take the girls sometime; they'll, they'll <laughs> tilted love it. Tilted kilt. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna fish. take my daughters to the tilted kilt. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> Don't do that. I was a joke. <laughs> All right. So you went to uh, Hooters. We went to Hooters. We played some songs. And then you each had a tilted kilt um, while you were at Hooters. What does that mean? I don't know. If you get a kilt and instead of going straight down, it tilts a little because you saw the... the um, lovely young ladies that, that I don't get like random erections just staring at women. Oh. Not that I and I don't just stare at women. Okay. Well, you, do, you, just, do you still pop boners like that? <laughs> I don't. I don't pop boners at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Ever? You were at Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you were at Hooters. And, yes, and uh, we, we 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 chatted up. I mean, it, the funny thing is, like Jack Astor's. Mm. I think the 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 women that were there yeah. were more attractive than the and girls the, that were working hmm. at Hooters. That's interesting. I Hooters need to step up their game. I guess, and then the, I think it it was evident in the fact that there was a lot of people at the Jack Astor's and mm. not so many people at the Hooters. Huh. Hmm. Is so, it because? I mean. I don't know. I think I feel like, um, aside from all of the other things that are probably wrong with Hooters, uh, in uh, in the opinion of of, of uh, women out there, yeah, probably. Um, I, like I think one of the one of the primary things you could complain about is like that uniform. I don't know. I think it takes a pretty not even like a pretty specific kind of body to pull off that uniform, and it's you know. It, I think attractive women, and I'm not just being like this because I've just because you're a, a giant sexist. Pig. Yeah, I think women come in uh, all sorts of um, uh, attractive sizes. Um, yes, and I agree. And so I just think like that uniform is just not flattering. Like the 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 white shirt and the the friggin' orange shorts. I just ugh. well, at least at the tilted kilt, there's also like the bus. Boys are, are dressed in like tight T-shirts and they're wearing kilts. And they're wearing kilts. They're, so there are there there is a little bit of eye candy for the ladies too. Yeah. I I read there's a story that we talk about in my um in my fiction class. Not uh, that either of them are great places. <laughs> I do. Um, that is uh, involves a woman talking about a uh, female um, narrator talking about how she would like to open a restaurant called Peckers. Um, which yeah. then I, no one would go there. <laughs> well, I think it's I mean of, they, they it's have part of her point, but they, they have they have like they have like the the male the male strippers the Chippendales or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those they usually have those at uh, I guess at a, at a regular club or whatever. Right, at like that, and they have ladies' night. And... Yeah, and and that I think that usually is a big draw, but I don't think they could See, they could keep one of those places open all the time. Do I you think? think... Do you think that it's a man's idea or a woman's idea to open that kind of place? Like, is it is it men? But you don't have you. Don't. We're not opening it, but to have ladies' night where you have men like Chippendales. Like, was that invented by a man or invented by a woman? Like, I think that's the kind of thing that's invented by a man who thinks that that's what women want to see, and then the women have to kind of get drunk just to go there because it's sort of a dumb proposition. Like. Yeah, like men don't have to get drunk to go to a strip club. But I don't. I just think the idea of, and maybe it's because I'm a heterosexual man, but like I think the idea Fool of me. of um, I'm <laughs> <laughs> don't remember. I'm I only go gay for Bill. Okay, I forgot. Um, uh, I I just think like, is there anything that appealing about a half naked man with a big, you know? I don't know. I, I I'm not a lady. I can't. I can't. I, we'd have to have a lady on. Maybe her. maybe someone who listens that is a woman. I doubt can, that we have too many. <laughs> <laughs> can, can explain the appeal the, of, of Chippendales. If, if any, yeah, the appeal of Chippendales. If you have experienced yeah. it or whatever, you know. I don't I mean. know. I just I I do wonder about that. I wonder if you had a place like that that was uh, that was created by women for women, what it would be like. Because I I am willing to bet that it would be like Fubu. I don't know if I, Fubu is for us by us. I don't know. I don't know. It was it was a, a, an African American clothing line. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, yeah. I don't know anything about it. That was just a bad joke, and you didn't <laughs> get it, and then I explained it, and then it made it less funny. <laughs> All right. So you were uh, so 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 far in the, on the track. Tri- like I even wrote it. I wrote it wrong. I wrote Hooters. Hooters. <laughs> so so far, you, you were at Jack Astor's. You you go to Hooters. Um, 
What's what's the rest of night number one? Uh, we kind of we kind of stumbled back. Stumbled back. Okay. Stumbled back a little bit intoxicated, and I might be leaving some things out just because I don't necessarily that's, remember some things. That's out. all right. And so you know, I, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we kind of stumbled back. There's, there, there's not statute of limitations on things that happened last weekend. Yeah. Well, you know, we didn't do anything. <laughs> we didn't do anything untoward, and we okay. uh, we uh, all right. We we. <laughs> <laughs> we just the only thing that we're guilty of is drinking way too much and it's good we did not drive anywhere because we because you were sick of driving yeah we were sick of driving well i was sick of driving yeah and we were really intoxicated so if we were driving it would have been really bad but we weren't because we walked everywhere gotcha all right but it did take us a little while to get back because get back kind of because the hooters was a little bit of a haul hmm. from from where from we where were. were and we were just like uh, let's let's uh, let's uh, mosey on home. Yeah, and it took a little while because we were like, "Is this where we turned?" I don't know. And then we were like, "Oh yeah, it is." So we ask you, hangover, oh. the, hangover the next oh, day. Oh shit! Yes. <laughs> See, I've never drunk enough to have drank drunk. Dr- I've drank. never drank enough to. Um, you teach English. I teach creative writing. Oh, I'm sorry. Just just putting it out there. Um, I drank. I've never drank enough. Drunken? Drank. Drink. I don't know. I just feel like that's wrong. And since I'm a creative writing teacher, I can be creative with you the language. You can creative with the language and, like, screw it up. Yeah. Um, I, I've never been shit-faced enough. Um, that, that's Maybe easy. next week. Um, that uh, that I've I've woken up with a hangover. So, so <clears throat> what's a hangover like? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really? <laughs> well, for all you folks out there that are uh, either straight edge or uh, have an experience. Or 12. Or haven't experienced the wonders or, or lack of wonders of alcohol. Um, a a a hangover hangover is like you know someone just like bash, bashed you like a lot in the head okay. with like one of those toy hammers that doesn't really hurt. Ah, but they but, but like eventually yeah a pain is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Because it's it's just a dull pain and yeah. it's just there. And then you drink a shitload of water. It'd be, the reason why you're hungover, the majority of you're it, dehydrated. because you're dehydrated. Ah, Correct. Right. So, I've been dehydrated. Yes. So, well, that and, you know, alcohol has made your brain turn into a pile of shit. Mm, okay. So, right. yeah, then I, I was I was very much hungover. Uh, my buddy had to go get up and get get me some, uh, some Tim Hortons. Ah. Did you get to, some Timbits? Timbits? No, what's that? I don't know. I thought Timbits were a thing. That's the only thing I know about Tim Hortons is instead of having munchkins, could, they have Timbits. Oh, so yeah, I think I saw that in a lot when we were we were, oh, we were there. But, right. So I'm not completely. So right. he went and got it for me. I was like yeah. laying in bed and I just like drank a shitload of water and fell back asleep. And I like this is like the first time in a very long time I slept until like eleven o'clock in the morning. Nice, very well done. And and like you know people are like that's me every weekend because I sleep until noon. I'm not that kind of person. I'm usually. Even if like I went to bed at like two in the morning, I'm up at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I can't. I can't get much past seven or eight. You know, I mean, you have kids, so you have an excuse. But like, yeah. I don't. I live by myself. Yeah, so you could sleep till eleven. I could, but I don't. Get working on that, pal. I'm trying. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm trying. Be lazier. It's not being lazy. It's just that my body just wants to get up, yeah. and I'm like, I don't want to. I, I drank a lot of alcohol. <laughs> so. By eleven, you're you're doing a little. But like, better. he got me like a, a breakfast sandwich, and I, mm-hmm. I, I was expecting like I was just like give me a breakfast sandwich with like, egg, bacon, and cheese or something like that, yeah. or a bagel, something. Right. So he gets me that, but there's also mm. on there is lettuce and tomato, and some sort At of sauce. Breakfast? Yeah, on the breakfast sandwich. At bre- no, no, Canadians, no, I t- I was... no, no, no. I mean, there should never be ve- money vegetables on your sandwiches to begin with. I like vegetables, but not on sandwiches. But at breakfast, not even like a regular no. cheeseburger. No, like, you don't like lettuce and tomato no. on your burger. No, oh, that's weird. It's not weird. See, well, you don't like it on a burger, and it was it was something that was new and exciting for me. Okay. And I was I, w- I was in dire need of some food, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Whoa! So you could scream no at Canada all you want. It actually tasted all right. <laughs> I'm screaming at myself because I'm I I have some French Canadian in me. This is a, it wasn't in French Canada. This was like Canada regular Canada. All right. Well, <laughs> like not, regular Canada. I, I, you can't. D- I that French Canadian part of me is offended now. I'm part French Canadian too, so shut up. <laughs>
<laughs> so um, yeah, and then we were like, okay, let's go. Okay. To the city today. All right. Well, let's 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 branch out. Let's actually get like some place outside of the airport area. <laughs> So we're we're like okay we're driving along and we we should have like put we were gonna go to the train station mm-hmm. because the Queensway is okay. it's it's basically the the, the, the highway, highway yeah. that goes I think it's the Queensway that was the one that was closed all weekend <laughs> for God knows what reason well the Queen's getting up there I, you know I, her 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 way is probably <sighs> um. Queensway was closed. So we were, we, we were, so we were like, uh, we, we should go to this train station. Yep. And we, we didn't put it into the GPS before we left. And I'm trying to figure out where it is while he's driving. And, and then we ended up going on a way that was going to take us onto the Queensway. Which was closed. Which was closed. And so we had to go a different way. Mm-hmm. And we barely, just barely missed hitting the person in front of us because they stopped further short. As did the person behind us. They were able to stop. Wow. The person behind them and the person behind them, however. Oh, no. Boom. 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 Five car accident <laughs> where we are in the center. Oh. On the Queen's way. Actually, no, we weren't in the center. We were the no, second car. You were the second car. There was the first car. Which was the gal in front of us, and she barely had a scratch on her yeah. bumper. But it was just like, ah, I just got in an accident, so it's overwhelming. Right. Um, then there, then us. We had a little bit of damage on the bumper, on the bumper but we yeah. could still drive the car. Yeah. Um, on either bumper. Like, the front bumper was was a little bit less, but the back yeah. bumper was a little bit more. And right. the guy behind us, no, not so much. <laughs> Even then, like, the person behind... Him, I, pair, I guess they didn't even like know that they there's a brake pedal. <laughs> oh God! Because I don't think they applied it before they hit that guy. Because <laughs> like, if there was enough momentum to push like two cars yeah. into another car, I. Just... <clears throat> so and then yeah, and then so we all pulled over. Mm. The police officer showed up. He was a pretty cool guy actually. Yeah. He, was, he was very nice in the situation. Was it like, a mountie? Mount- no, he wasn't a Mountie. He was a regular police officer. You mean officer. there are police officers that aren't Mounties in Canada? Well, it, it, that's probably... I don't know. I'm learning so much this week. Okay, the, the, the term Mountie is, yeah, is for because... For Mounted Police. Yeah, they're mounted. They're on a horse. They're you're not going to just he's like... saying that the horse, a guy on a horse can't like run up to an accident? I mean, that Yeah, be but he'd have to be riding a horse on the on whatever highway we were on. Eh, he could like be up... You know, say you got an embankment. He just like rides the horse down the embankment like Gandalf coming down whatever that hill. You shall not pass! <laughs> exactly. I just... No, no. Because there's the, an accident. That's the first movie. No, I'm saying the second movie. At the end of the second movie where he's like... But that was a better that, quote, you have to admit. Yeah, I know. He doesn't say anything when he's charging down. You shall not pass is... Is when he's, you know... I, I, the, I, all right. the you win. Bell that rug. was a better quote. Was it Belrog? Yeah. I think so. Whatever that lava beast that was coming There was a, a conversation in my, uh, in my class uh, yesterday about the difference between Aragorn and Aragon. Um, and uh, somebody had tried to quote Aragorn from the Lord of the Rings and spelled it Aragon, which is an entirely different thing. It really pissed off the nerds in the class. Oh, no. And they were all like, what the fuck is wrong with you, idiot? Of course, they didn't know what Aragon was. They just knew it wasn't right. Aragon, I believe, is um, part of Spain, I think. Because Catherine of Aragon was was a wife to a Henry VIII. So, yeah, we, we got in this accident. And then we, we had to get on, like, we, like they, we, they, we got... We had to leapfrog the the tow trucks basically. Okay. The, the the two of us, the girl that was in front of us, and, yeah. and us, and uh, and then the tow trucks backed up and picked up the cars that were not drivable. Right. And then we all drove to like this shopping center that was like under the most construction I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And I'm like, because we entered we entered it and then we couldn't get to where the other half was, where where the people were, and it took us forever to get there. And there was construction every there's construction everywhere in Canada. In, in M- Mississauga, I think <laughs> is the name of the town we were in, which yeah. is the the like right, right outside basically of... the Cambridge of, of yeah. Toronto. Let's just yeah. say because it's right outside. 
And we were like, ah, and then we, we had to get out of the plaza so we could go back into the other side of the plaza. Sounds like Cambridge. Oh, it was so much. There was, and then we couldn't get on like a, the, the highway to right blah, 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 blah. So we, we sat there for a while and there was a little Caesars. And so my, myself, uh, my pal, I keep on almost saying his name. <laughs> we can bleep it, I guess, if I do. But no, not I'm, not, I'm not drunk this time, so <laughs> I don't have an excuse. Um, so yeah, I, uh, so me and my buddy and, uh, and the, and the gal that we, we, we hit, mm -hmm. we were, we're, we're chatting. She was, she was very nice. She was a very yeah. cool person. I actually right. have her Twitter yeah. and I, they, she's, she's listened to the show at oh, least nice. one of the episodes and said yeah. it was very funny. And All I was right. like, wow, cool. Very good. So yeah, she's she this cute gal that we met and we're chatting with her and it's, it's very nice. Very nice. Um, did you go, did you, like, so the three of you, you're hanging out, this is after, well, this, like, We're waiting for the police report. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, we, so the police, we, policeman is there trying to get everyone's version of the story, and, and that's, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. and so basically, you know, and then he, he finds the, It's good know, that you got to be friends with the person who knows how to use their car. Like, who who was able to, to like, drive her car, she broke, gave you guys plenty of time to break. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was pretty, it was pretty swift. Oh, well, I we, know. But I'm saying, like, you know, it, and it's good that she didn't get hurt. I mean, yeah, I, no, no I, one got hurt, actually, miraculously. That's good. Because I've always, I haven't, you know, knock on whatever, like, I haven't been, I've maybe had, like, one fender bender or something, one or two, never anything serious. And I've always wondered, like, because I, I drive on the highway a lot, especially at traffic times, and, like... If you were at the front of the line, I would sometimes think that you would stand. She was the one in the front, right? Yeah. I would sometimes think you would be the one at the most, um, in the most danger of getting like plowed with all the force of like five cars behind you. But well, I guess I, just I think each physics. one. I mean, like, I don't know physics up like to, <laughs> to save my life, but I think after each one, the the, the yeah, force it's... deadens. Okay. Right. When you're when the, you hit a stopped object. Yeah. All right. Well, this is why I uh, I never I didn't fail physics. I dropped out of physics. Okay. I was thinking, physics was one of like three courses I dropped out. Which is why her car had the least amount of damage. Ah, I got it. I got it. I understand. So yeah, we, we hung out and we had we had a pizza. Mm -hmm. We uh, were just you know had a couple of slices. And we were you know was chit chatting while we were waiting for the police report yeah. and everything. Hmm. And we we weren't at fault, obviously. Well, uh, well I wasn't driving. I was least at fault because right. I was a passenger. You were a passenger. I was. This is a passenger. <laughs> I was. I was doing the driving motion as a passenger. You know, side seat driver. Yeah, you see, seem like a type of person. I was a little bit. Uh, we were a little bit. Ju well, I was a little jumpy after after the accident yeah. when we finally went went yeah. off. And she she suggested uh, like we were just talking that we're we are going into the city eventually. Right. Once we get this all sorted out. Yeah. And uh, she suggested a place called the Fox and the Fiddle mm. that we go because they have karaoke every night. Oh, nice. Like, okay, cool. So we just we just we just chose a That's stop. A that's a good name for a bar or a karaoke place. Well, yeah. Well, it's not a karaoke. It's just a regular bar. Yeah. And it, but it's it has a it has a like you know a bar in the world of of <laughs> fantasy. Uh, a fox the, and the fiddle. The fantasy genre to have it be an inn or a uh, or a pub. Yeah, Robert Jordan sounds like he would have a, a fox and the fiddle. Well, I, there hasn't been one. Not yet, as far as I can remember. But. You're only one book in. Yeah, I know. I, but I was a long time ago, <laughs> 10 books in or something like that. I look at that book and I just think that's that's not really good for anything except squash and bugs. That's, I, you, I, you don't like big books? I don't like big books. All right. I, I, uh, yeah. Anyway, you're in. You're so, in yeah, we, we uh, yeah, we, you know, she, you know, it was cool. Yeah. Cool. And then uh, we went out, we went back to the hotel. We kind of just like vegged out there for a bit just to, you know. We just got in an accident. Right. Let's, yeah. Let's let's process this mentally. Right. Uh, we chatted there for a bit, and then we went back out into the city. Uh, or, well, then we went to the we we planned out where the station this, was this. on the GPS, <laughs> got it in place. Right. Went there. It was very quick, easy. The train, it, like I, I don't know. There, we actually ended up probably paying more than we needed to mm. because we got a day pass. Okay. And a day pass is eleven dollars. So basically, for eleven dollars, you can ride, ride the train, train. Okay. anywhere you want Not for bad. the entire day. That's can't can't do that in Boston or Cambridge. No, it, sure. and, and like and so he bought one, and I was going to buy one too. Yeah, and they're like, no, and then I'm like, what? He's like, you're friends with him, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And he goes, well, you you both can use that. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> it's eleven bucks, like you. 
And I'm like, I'll, I'll gladly give you 11 bucks. Like They're like, nope. And I'm like, okay, uh, we're going in. <laughs> oh, we're riding the train. Thanks. Friendly Canucks. And I'm like, yeah, this is great. So, yeah, that was, that was cool. If you ordered Canuck, if you ordered a Canuck, would you get a person instead of a beer? I've, there isn't a beer called a Canuck. That's what I'm saying. You say, I'd like a Canuck. Would they... I, I think that's like I don't know if that's derogatory. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, they have like the 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 the, the hockey team that's the Canucks. That's isn't the Canu- it? Are they the, no? They're the Canadians, aren't they? And they're no, no. The Canadians, the Canadians, the Canadians um, uh, nickname oh, well, is, the, is the, the Habs because they're the habitants. I don't know what the hell's a Canuck. I don't. Know. I I thought that they were on the other they're, the, the they're other the coast. Others, they're the the others. The Canuckers. The Vancouver Canucks. The Canuckleheads. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's a, if that's derogatory oh. or not. You know, if we have any other Canadian listeners besides the one I met this past week, if she's still listening, <laughs> yeah. if she hasn't gotten sick of it already. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, give us, uh, uh, let us we, know if, if we're saying things that are derogatory towards Canadians. You can Canadians. send us an email yeah, at, at, at hot at clarkwoods.com. Drink. Why? I did hot at clarkwoods.com. That's the that's the email address. I know, but remember we Oh, told... that's two drinks now, right? Yeah, whenever okay. you plug So the email. I better not say hot at clarkwoods.com again or else we might get someone drunk. Well, uh, you know what? Do, no. do, 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 do people have to uh, drink when when you bleep things? <laughs> I have to drink when I bleep things. Oh, okay. So let's not do that. Remember a couple of weeks ago when <laughs> you emailed us? Oh, God damn it. 35 37. <laughs> I was hoping I could just slap the opening on this, cut off the end, post it. Nope. So oh. yeah, so we got we got we got into the city pretty. We just picked a stop at random. Yeah. And uh, like there was a bar I had mentioned it last week that I wanted to go to called the 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 communist daughter. Yes. Which we found. All right. We were just we walked there and uh, and from the stop because like we stopped at a place that had Wi-Fi and then I figured out which figured way we needed where to go. And then uh, we, we walked there, and it was a pretty nice walk. And we were going through Little Portugal, which is where, well, uh, my pal mm-hmm. is part uh, Portuguese. Well, actually, he's, he's mostly Portuguese. Yeah. Uh, and so he's, he wanted to check out that area. And I, I, this is something I didn't know. Mm. Um, we walked by some houses, and he's like, yeah, this is definitely a Portuguese neighborhood. And I'm like, well, how can you tell? And yeah. he's like... They love lions on either side of like the driveway. I did not know that. Yeah, there was several houses that had those. I the only the only animal I know of that's Portuguese is the Portuguese man of war. The, it might not even be Portuguese. The, I don't know. Like, can you say that it's an animal? Like, the, the a, sort it's of. A, a, it's a fish or something, isn't it? I don't know. It's more like it, it, it doesn't a, like have like does it even have a brain? I, but it's an ant. It's not a plant. I guess it's not a rock. It's. It's alive. I don't know. It's just like goop. <laughs> All right. Well, Portuguese. If you put line. if you put that thing on the floor, yeah, it'd just be goop without right. the water. Okay. I'm just saying. All right. Don't it, get so it, defensive. I, I don't know why I'm so angry. About it. <laughs> so there's lions on either side. There's of lions the, there, and then there's like um, like just tile work. Okay. Like, yeah. That, in, that like says that's... usually like uh, some sort of Catholic message or something like that. Oh, uh, I forgot like about the Virgin Portuguese Mary being Catholic. Yeah. Gotcha. Got, got that's that. unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that we were walking by these places, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's neat. So you guys learn that too, mm. or and maybe that's a stereotype. I don't know. What lot Portuguese and lions? I, they I like know. the lions, and they like the the uh, the the tile work. The tile work. So, um, you know what a stereotype is. What a hasty generalization about a group of people. <clears throat> so let's just keep, let's keep on doing that until the end of time. That is that is that is the definition that I got to share with my students this week. I said wow, that that... A, a a stereotype is a hasty generalization about a group of people. So what is racism then? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> that's a topic for another time. <laughs> um, so it's yeah, bad. I, we, I know it's bad. I don't we, know how to define it. Yeah. So we went. We went to the 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 the, the communist daughter, mm-hmm. and we. He, I'm like, there it is, right there. And he goes, where? I'm like, right there. The thing that says the snack shack, right there, or the, the, <laughs> so, it was like something that began with an N, sh- snack shack. Yeah. And he's like, "What? That that's not it." And I'm like, "Yeah, it is. It's like there's hipsters around outside smoking. <laughs> that's it." And he's like, 
And you, as we know, hipsters are all communists. No, it's just that they like bars that don't have a, a sign. Oh, all right. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> or have the wrong sign. Because if you if you go up to the window, there's yeah. a small sign that says it's a communist, communist daughter. Sign. But it it's was, a snack shack in big letters. It was really warm in there, though. Like, but it was it was warm out in general the whole weekend. Like yeah, last weekend and I think here as well as in as in Canada, it was very very warm. And well, they're making up for Stalin freezing their balls off for all those years. Because it's just because it has the word communist in it. So I, you mean that you think that they named that place just sort of uh, on a whim it's, it's, that they're not actually communists in there? Is the, that what you're suggesting? It's a we went over this last week. It's it's a neutral or neutral milk hotel song. I don't know who Neutral Milk Hotel is. It's like one of those like uh, it's like one of those bands where the where the guy sort of strums a guitar once every like thirty seconds and he's like. Ah, I don't know. I I've never strong. I've never heard the damn song, and it was one of those like bands from the '80s that was like a little bit too new wave. Oh, I think maybe right. I don't know. You know correct, correct me if I'm wrong. If you know that that the, what what they sound like and why I'm an it's, idiot. It sounds like it sounds like uh, Iron and Wine or or or. Um, <laughs> or uh, 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 Guitar and and uh, ukulele and uh, oh, bored no. bearded guy. That's. But we went there. We had a beer, and then we went and we went and walked back towards the train station where we originally stopped at, mm-hmm. which is why I was saying that we probably didn't really need the pass because the 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 I think we would have paid less if we paid individually for each time we rode the train. Okay, but you both rode on the one pass. Yes, but still, it, we multi like, pass. Yeah, <laughs> that again. Um, drink, I guess. That's <laughs> bringing up the fil- fifth element again. The fifth element, which was from what episode now? I forget. I don't know. Um, so yeah, and we, 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 we wandered back to where we originally got off the train, and then we yeah. walked a little bit further, and we found the bar that the that, girl, the girl you... we had met earlier in mm-hmm. our car accident had mentioned. And gotcha. we were like, and, it, and like it was time for karaoke, so we... There you go. We, we had some. Was that had, the, that's the fox and the fiddle. Yes, we we found the fox and the fiddle on uh, Bloor. Bloor. And the I'm fox like, and the fiddle. Now that sounds like um, a band that 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 might be similar to like a new, neutral milk hotel or Iron and Wine or or bored bored bearded guy. Um, it, it, uh, fox and the fiddle. I I I like that. You like that? I like that. All right, so it was a good place. Well, I'm and, glad. And the, the what did you do for karaoke? That's you got. I, I I have a couple of karaoke standards. Yeah, but if I go to a place a lot, I try to mix it up because I don't want to do the same stuff. But if I'm going to a place for the first time, I'll usually do. Uh, the, one of them, sort of like actually a couple of years new into my repertoire. Ah. I've been doing "Wicked Game" by Chris Isaac. Very good choice. And then I very very nice. Choice. And my my old standard that I've done for many many years is uh, is and she was by the Talking Heads. I like that. I gotta see you do these. Maybe I did. At, you uh, might have at, at Rob's uh, bachelor party. Back yeah. In the so day. you know we, we I live right up the road from a place from that does karaoke, karaoke place. place. And uh, there's another place and uh, we we went to the open air festival hmm. last night. Uh, it was uh, just the downtown air. Oh, was, right, right. I think I saw you tweet about that. Yeah, there was there was like a, a house band outside of Carlin's. Yeah. And uh, they they were playing Money for Nothing. Yes, and they actually said they, the N-word. They, they, no, not the N-word. It's the F-word. Oh, F-word. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. They said, because, you know, because the, the song, if you're not familiar, is based on Mark Knopfler overhearing, like, working class guys talking about people playing music or whatever. Yeah. And, and so basically that's what it is. And so... And it features background vocals by Sting. Yes. If you did not know that. So, you know, go back and listen. But if you listen to the unedited version, like a, a, a version that you will not hear on the radio, mm. he drops the, the F word that people use for gay people. Yes. Several times he does, yeah. I, I, it, um, I don't, it's, it doesn't jar me as much as it should. I think because I, because you're not gay. No, just because I, because in context, you know, it's the, well, yeah. I mean, it, it, it. I mean, the, in context of the song, he's 
he's representing representing a working class guys in the eighties. Yeah, who who are like, hey, that guy that's on the TV. Yeah. Is making a lot of money and I'm schlepping around furniture. Right. And and we got to install microwave ovens. Yeah. Yeah. That. So yeah, it, it's Custom understandable in the context. Con- delivery. But like, it, but like in the context of where we were too, we were Good in song. Air, Massachusetts. Like, yeah. And and and, and it, I don't think anybody there, noticed, even, but but us. Yeah. Noticed that it was bad. Yeah. That that's the problem. Is it? You know, Mark Knopfler understands. And the, the the song. But does you know? Do you think he censors the song? No, when he I, 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 would it hope, I would hope not. Yeah. I mean, I, it, it's in the same way that you would hope that if but Mark that, Twain were like like a 200, 300 year old Mark Twain, how old would he be? I don't know. If Mark Twain were giving a public reading of Huck Finn, would you would you want him to yeah, censor okay, the well, N word? Okay, so, but but then again, in, in the time too, yeah, it, it would. But well, I, I imagine being a gay person, it, you it, wouldn't you wouldn't have liked it at any point, right? But remember the Clerks cartoon. I do remember the Clark's cartoon. It was very short lived. It was very short lived. They, were, but they played like the third episode first. No, no, it was the second episode, second episode. which was a flashback episode. Yes, that that flashback right. to a first episode that they never, that never aired. Playing. Yes. Okay, that's so. <laughs> I actually ended up buying the whole uh, DVD set at one point. I, I have it as well. Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah. There, there's, there's a scene. I think it is actually in that episode where they're 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 flashing back to things that never happened right. because the series is like two episodes <laughs> old, and yeah. they did a thing where they did a, a clerk like exchange program. Yeah. Where, or, or then they're in England or something, and they I'm were in Mary, Mary Old England. Yeah. And uh, trigger warnings here. I'm going to actually say the words here. <laughs> Um, Because it was on the show that was on ABC on, like, after the Super Bowl or whatever. Yeah, and it was on at, like, 9 o'clock at night. night Yeah, so... All right. So they're in Great Britain. They're in jolly old England. Yeah, and a guy walks in and goes, pack of fags. (laughs) And he goes... Randall goes, you're a fag. (laughs) Oh, God. And then then Dante's like, no, here, fags are cigarettes. And he's like, you're a cigarette. (laughs) That's, did you know that apparently Kevin Smith? We talked very. But, but this was like in like the the aughts. Uh, uh, yes, it was. It was like the the late. Well, actually, no, late nineties. I think it might have either been the late nineties or the early aughts. Yeah, yeah. Where it, this aired on television. It did. Um, the Kevin Smith apparently because uh, we talked about his movie Tusk very briefly on a previous episode, mm-hmm. um, which is based on a podcast. Apparently it made enough money that now he's got the financing to do Clerks 3. Ha- does he need to do Clerks 3? Apparently he does. Okay. I want to see that hockey movie he was going to make. Yes, I want the hockey movie. I would like to see... Although I'm interested in um, in this movie Tusk, I've heard very mixed things about it. And I'm interested in his next one, which is supposed to be called Yoga Hosers. Yoga Hosers? Yoga Hosers. Is it about yoga Canadians? I don't know. But his daughter and... Um, and uh, uh, Johnny Depp's daughter are the stars of uh, of this Yoga Hosers movie. And Ke- Kevin Smith's daughter. Kevin Smith's daughter and Johnny Depp's daughter are going to be the stars of this movie. <laughs> I don't. Bonkers. Make the goddamn hockey movie. Don't put your fucking kids in movies. His his daughter has one of the funniest lines in the trailer. Um, There's a trailer for a movie no, that doesn't exist no, yet? Is, apparently these two characters that they play in the Yoga Hoses movie show up for like a scene in Tusk. Oh. So the Tusk trailer has this one bit where the two uh, famous guys' daughters are there. And um, I think it's Smith's daughter who gets to say, um, I hate American guys. But in a in a Canadian accent because they're up in Canada um, and they're... Um, uh, they're playing. They're playing clerks, which is fucked up. I don't know. I, I think it. I, it's a little but strange. But you you took us horribly off topic. <laughs> Drink. Um. And uh. But I, like I was saying, like even in the in the late aughts, hmm. that that was quote unquote acceptable to say on on television. Yeah. But now, like if you if you hear someone say it on television, it's because it's a shitty person right. that and you don't like a bad character you don't want to like. Yeah, like in, like a, in a courtroom drama yeah. or uh, exactly or yeah. something like that, and and that's the only time you'll hear it because mm-hmm. you know thing things, things have changed. changed. Yeah, yeah, 
I mean, it's still a funny little bit, though. Yeah. Speaking of funny little bits. Oh wait! Oh, I, I have another thing. That's going to be right. another. Uh, all right. Gonna, I'm going to. Uh, don't confuse me. Okay. Still, I don't want to prep. Are you still in Canada, by the way? We're, we're still in Canada. We're still in Canada. Okay. I did. I, I, I took a segue into uh, into air. Into air. All right. We're we're back in Canada. We're, we're back we're in Canada. And, okay. So and, and actually, we're we're in between communist daughter and going to the fox and the fiddle. Okay. We're walking down the street. We see a homeless guy. All right. And so. I don't know if he thought that one or both of us was Jewish, <laughs> because he goes, "I'm Jewish," <laughs> as a way to perhaps get us to give him some money. All right. We we were taken slightly aback. Did and you say Mazel Tov? I don't know. No, well, we just walked by and we're we're almost by him, and uh, apparently screaming, "I'm Jewish!" at the top of his lungs. May, he thought maybe. We didn't hear him. Yeah, so he said and it So again. don't confuse me <laughs> oh, no. into thinking that I'm anti-Semitic for repeating what a crazy person on the side of the road <laughs> in Toronto said. But it, the, instead he goes, I'm a kike. <laughs> oh, God. As if that would have enticed us to even more <laughs> give him some money. God. And we were just like, What? Of all the things you could scream at us. I just, so we could give you a loony or a toony or whatever we had in our pocket. Oh, my God. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you just kept walking, right? Yes, so we just kept walking. Okay, well, we didn't good. give the guy any money uh, well, for no, screaming. I, I'm glad you just kept it, walking. You didn't stop and laugh or like, it, you just, just kept walking. We just, just kept, kept on Well, we did just kind of chuckle because someone just <laughs> screamed <laughs> a racial <laughs> epithet at us. And at himself, if he's if well, he's well, well not, yeah, well, not at us, but just out loud <laughs> like, about himself, even though we're not sure if he's yeah, he might just think that you're Jewish. Does your, yeah, does your pal look Jewish? No, no, he's Portuguese. Yeah, not that I mean, not that you couldn't be Portuguese and Jewish. I think that you Spain, could be like Spain and Portugal is one of the places that they went at some point. The uh, the Jews, I think. After expo- after anyway after yeah after the, that whole that whole like, thing you know back in Europe back in the the forties yeah back when they or the thirties and forties because hmm. Hitler had uh, no had, I was talking a, even further back before oh. before the uh, the Inquisition because the Inquisition I think was part the Spanish Inquisition was partly to Why get does rid of everybody the Jews? hate Jewish people like I, I I'm know. not one of them I don't know I think Jewish people are pretty rad yeah I, they're not, they're, the, of the ones that I've encountered over the course of my life I've found to be very nice and friendly. That is also a stereotype. What the ones that I've encountered are nice. That see, that's what's what's trying to explain to my explain to my students is the stereotype is not necessarily a negative thing. Oh yeah, you're right. A hasty, it's a hasty generalization about. But this wasn't people. hasty. This is a, over a long amount right. of time thinking about thinking the people that the, I've been all I've the Jewish people you've met are I've encountered. Nice. Yeah, I've never. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say I've never encountered a person that was Jewish that was unfriendly. Okay. But a majority of them have been. Yeah. I might go so far as to say I haven't met a Jewish person that was unfriendly. I'm I'm hard pressed to think of a of a Jewish person I met that that was a jerk. But yeah, that, that I just wanted to mention that because of the absurdity of it. I keep I <laughs> I just trying to like I I believe it. Dude, don't don't cut that out because I'm not like, going to cut it out because I mean I did preface it you that I'm not anti-Semitic and I not. I'm repeating what a, a crazy homeless I, person I, I, no, said. No, no, I'm not going to cut it. I just it's it's a crazy story. And we were just like, we, we, we were just like, what? Huh? <laughs> and then it was funny. We went into a little uh, comic book store and we were kind of poking around. And I had to explain uh, Yaoi to... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Bleep. Uh, 52. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not... I, I'll, I gotta listen to the whole thing anyway. Okay. Well, I think it was like the other one was at about 35 Thir- minutes. 37, and I think, yeah. 35 30. or 37, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And this one's at 53. 53. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you you have to explain yow- Yaoi? Okay. So uh, there's different kinds of manga or, ma- oh, or manga. Manga. Whatever manga. whatever you want to call the, you know, the, the Japanese comic books or yeah. whatever. Whatever. Uh, and Yaoi is like... 
It's not. It's never hardcore. Okay. But it's it's, it's not hun- it, hentai. It, it, Wait, is hentai specific? Hentai in, anime. Well, for, well, no. For, it could be something that is you know. In the, in the well, I didn't know if hentai was it was a um was an anime term or if it could be used across both anime and manga. Well, you can use it like in everyday life because hentai literally means pervert. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. So this is not. Uh, so Yaoi is basically like hardcore. two attractive young men being very close. Okay. And and being sort of romantic, but not like obscene. Okay. At least I that's what I I've heard. Mm-hmm. And and I, there was a, a very large yaoi section, and, and I was and he was like, and I'm like, hey, you want to pick one of these up? You probably really like it. <laughs> and he's like, what? What is it? And I'm like, and I just explained it. Yeah. Uh, and he, he was like, oh, hmm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You might, but it's 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 not something that I guess a lot it, it no, that necessarily gay guys read a, a lot of young women read it mm. and i and i and that just, that that kind of baffles me yeah like why why do young women want to read about two guys being intimate with each other mm. or at least in japan i don't know I, I don't imagine it has a, I don't know. a terrifically large following in the united states i women are a mystery to me yes as i live you. with three of them and i don't understand any of them yes well you know kaylee got to have her like first appearance on uh on the podcast but last she, week. She, her giggles at you listen to the whole episode I cut out nearly everything that came I, I had to make a decision with last week's episode is like did you cut out most of the end of it yeah and, and what I ended up doing at some point is like I'm just going to cut each of the sections with Kaylee in it and so there's just it was a lot of editing and you can still hear well, at least you had a lot of, a lot of time to do it because yes. we did that on Thursday yeah. last week but there is there's <clears throat> giggling here and there and and it's we we acknowledge somewhere in the episode even the cut version of it that she's there um but not not a cuz like uh, we don't talk to her in the, in the Ryan uh, one of my buddies that was at the open air festival last yeah. night he uh he he had mentioned that he he had listened to it and he yeah. was like, and I, I I I hadn't I hadn't yet so it was yeah. just like Oh, the, the, did they edit a lot of the parts with with uh, Chris's daughter out? And yeah. he's like, "Yeah, I think so." Yeah, yeah, I think they were. They, it just it, it wasn't. She can be funny, and it was funny for us there in the room. But separated from it on like Saturday or Sunday morning when I was editing it, I was like, "Yeah, eh, it, it was funny in the moment, but I didn't know if it would be." Those funny. are some enormous pumpkins you have over there. They are. Yes. Are you guys gonna carve them? Probably. Probably. Yeah, you don't. Closer. You want to. You don't want to do it too yeah, soon because they don't like they'll gross. Rot. Yeah. You gonna put them outside, or you gonna leave them inside? Well, you know, you don't want you don't want Billy Corgan coming along and smashing your pumpkins uh, too. Does, do you think he still does that? I don't know. So, you're in Canada. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, and it's 56 minutes in, so we we, we make sure. I'm we basically get... done with all the things that I oh, wanted well, yeah, to talk no, about. Just, about okay, Canada. good, good, good. I want to make sure we get all the way through Canada so that Canada is not a two part episode. No, we, 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 I'm done with with. I mean, there was other fun stuff that we did. We did a lot of talking, but it was more per, the, it was a more yeah. personal, and I'm not going to talk about it on the podcast. Yeah. So, you, um, I mean, you was you went to the bar, did some karaoke, and then you left the next day because you were tired. Right? Yeah, I was just tired. I woke up. Up, I, I woke up at my normal like six in the morning yeah. and I was just like uh, you know and I I waited a little bit before yeah. I even woke up right. <laughs> 57 all right um, up and uh, yeah, yeah. And so I'm like hey dude I'm gonna take off today but yeah. thanks for having me up and he's right. like no thanks for coming I don't yeah. Know. so yeah um, you want to do your plugs there? Um, for the book, well, we, had, we, we never we got, got to the oh. email. Okay, yeah, well, we'll <laughs> but I don't know if we want to. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna just open up read it <laughs> because just because it was back when you were saying about, about things being funny or or whatnot. We had some follow up um, from a listener. We're not going to name the listener, um, but thank you, listener, for for uh, for writing in. Um, this is in regard to last week when we. Uh, talked about George Carlin's contention that rape could be funny. Um, and uh, the subject is <clears throat> rape being funny. Um, and uh, the suggestion posed by the listener is read some anal cunt. I did not know uh, that, that was a band. You did read, not? I did not. Read some anal cunt song titles and tell me you don't at least chuckle quietly to yourself. So so I'm thinking, before we go any further, I, what I really need to do here um, is I need to... Uh, look up um, uh, anal so, cunt. 
Um, You've never they're 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 not a great band. No, they're, I imagine and, and, with and a they, name like that, you know, I can't imagine that they. Well, like they, they they've always been uh, known by <laughs> Safe Search blocked some results for <laughs> anal cunt. <laughs> well, that's good. No more results. <laughs> 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 blocked some results <laughs> no more results turn off temporarily so okay. um there there was another part that I, I was actually thinking about it and uh a little bit more the, the conversation we were having and yeah. um i i understand people getting upset when they yes. when, when when someone makes a rape joke but getting upset about that is is you should be Probably more upset at people that actually commit those crimes, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Well, and then people that talk about it and try to make some sort of light about it, you know, I don't know. Um, I mean, they're shitty either way, but the person that's committing a crime is, albeit a lot shittier. Yeah. Um, Just another, just another nail in my coffin, making people mad at me or whatever. Um, So, did you find some nice uh, anal cunts? Yeah, but Lyrics. they're not. Um, I'm not allowed to like anal cunt anymore since they signed to Earache. Um, I'm Wicked Underground. Um, is this one album? This is all in one album. No, the, these are all songs on one album. Abomination of unnecessarily augmented composition monikers. Um, <laughs> when I think of true punk rock bands, I think of Nirvana and the Melvins. <laughs> um, song titles are fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, Hellbent for Leatherman, um, Aging Grace, br- br- Brutally Morbid Acts of Satan, Acts instead of Acts, um, Otis Sister. You should have, you should have found, I should have, I should found, have found these this before out the beforehand. Show. Yeah. Anyway, well, yeah, there, um, I will, I, listener, thank you. I will, um, I will look up some, uh, some anal cunt, uh, But there was like one that was like, I punched oh. your pregnant something in the something. Oh, or, I did. Know. There we go. See, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad you were there to fill that in. Um, plugs. Yes. Um, I, we did that. Um, and, I, um, we can talk about that next week. About I played Smash it more. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, my, my little publishing company, we put out our latest issue of Geek Force 5 and we sold a whole bunch of them. Nice. So, so people should buy that. It's got a little ghost story in it. Um, about a haunted graveyard and uh it's it's 99 cents for your kindle your ipad your your whatever or you can buy a print copy for five bucks that's actually what's really crazy people still like to buy print stuff this person uh, I, this, I bought these books i could have just bought the uh the the ebook yeah but people still money. like to read and print anyway so and that's where we where we make the most money is the is the print version but 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 if you buy one, uh, leave a leave a review on Amazon. Just like you should leave a review for horribly off topic on iTunes. Yeah. Or well, at least give us five stars. Yeah, five stars. More five stars. More people are gonna listen. Exactly. And, same. That's the same deal with Amazon. Is the more people that give reviews, the more people will actually get. Yeah, because it'll come up in search results. Exactly. Or like it'd be like, oh, you're in the top. Maybe we're in the top a thousand podcasts maybe. right now. Who knows? That, that would be. I mean, we have done. 10 episodes in a row. We have. This is episode 10. X. This the, is... Next Next week is going to be kind of... Tr- well, we're going to be able to do next week, but then we're going to have to try to figure out something for you. So we, we, we will have an episode for you in the coming weeks. Mm. Don't worry. Uh, we won't miss a Monday, so you'll be like, oh, my God, Why where are they? Why do I get through my Monday without the... Ca- da- 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 or, or like the dozens of other podcasts you listen to. <laughs> yeah, they come out on Mondays. Yeah. I swear that's the day that I've got... I'm like, oh, look, all my podcasts are here. Um, and then some of them I still don't listen to. Some of them are too hard. When a podcast gets hard to listen to, you just should stop listening. Well, this one is never hard because it's so fun. Yeah. So everybody have a great evening or um, day or whatever the fuck. Oh, this, this is the worst. We what still was I have, trying? <laughs> well, yeah, we have to do our No, plugs. no, no. You, have to, you say you, uh, you, you want to connect with us on, on Twitter. Um, you can find me at ECC1977. Really? Um, and you can find Steve at Tuesday is Loser. That's that, I S. L O S E R. Okay, Tuesday so is loser. Tuesday, like the day, is I S loser. Yeah. And if I don't know that we've actually talked about anything that will need to be linked or any of that business, but you can find the show notes for this episode at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash ten. The Yay. number ten. 
Ten episodes. Fucking Ten A, dude. episodes. So I will take us out reading a little bit of uh, Robert Jordan. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good... Good night, everybody.